Few things can be as rewarding and educational as having birds raise a new generation in a nest box in your very own backyard. I've been doing this for 12 years and now it's easier than ever to document nesting birds and share the experience with friends and family. Today we're talking about another exciting product from Netview BirdFi and their new line of uh, sustainable bamboo products which has dual HD cameras in it. I just tested their bamboo bird feeder and that's online and I'll put a link to that in the description. A high quality bamboo plywood or composite bamboo product has a nice look to it. But let's take a look at just the external features of the bird box and then we'll get into the details. First off it has that nice sort of uh, artistic design. So it has an entrance hole here for the birds and it comes with a one and a half inch uh, predator guard on it but it also has a, a one inch and a, a two inch and I'll show you how those go in later. And then it has HD Wi-Fi camera here at the entrance, motion detected. You can watch the birds coming and going and get alerted when they come and go. And it has a nice mounting system, really the same mounting system that's on the uh, bamboo bird feeder. And it's really easy to take it on and off, but it's, it mounts really solidly. You can mount it a number of different ways. It comes with the hardware to mount it on a pole. You can mount it on any solid uh, wood surface with the uh, mounting bracket. Or you can you know, wrap it around a tree or use this to wrap around any post or something like that. Now, if you put it on a 4x4 four four post like I did with the feeder, that really works out good because you can just drill the uh, mount right to the post and take it off and on. And we come around to the side here, and it has this nice elevated roof here with vent holes in the top to keep the uh, birdhouse from getting too hot, but also to keep rain out. Now, it's uh, IP66 uh, water resistant, just like all birdhouses. You know, it's going to get wet, and it's going to have to be resistant to the conditions. And it's got drain holes on the bottom, as all good uh, nest boxes should. So a lot of thought went into this because they have this uh, side panel that extends below this, the birdhouse. And they also put a little foot here for it to rest on so that it sits level. So there's all sorts of different ways you can mount this. In a lot of cases, you want something, you know, attractive like this. Landscaping or garden or what they often call deckscaping when you have a lot of deckage and you want to have something that looks really nice. So let's take a look at the inside of it. And you can see inside at the top, they have a uh, Wi-Fi controller with a built-in battery, rechargeable battery, and then it comes with a solar panel. So you deploy the solar panel into the here and it keeps it charged all the time. So it's really quite a piece of engineering. This is the connection for the external camera and this is the connection for the internal camera. And then these are your controls here. It has a slot for a micro SD card, but that doesn't uh, work. What you do get is just like with the bamboo bird feeder, you get 30 days of free cloud storage, unlimited free cloud storage on a 30-day rolling basis. So there's no recurring charges for uh, data or cloud storage unless you want to expand your ability to record 24-7 uh, or things like that. And I'll go over uh, how the system works with the app. You hook this up to your home Wi-Fi just like you do with the other NetView products. And that's real easy. And there's no recurring uh, data costs for that. I mean, you're just hooking up to your home Wi-Fi router. There's no charge for that. And then, of course, there's the app on the phone that I'll go over and then you view what's going on in your bird box and share it with people and uh, make your own recordings, too, as well as what's on the cloud storage. So they put a lot of effort into the design of this birdhouse. And just like the uh, Bird 5 bamboo feeder, it's really designed like a piece of furniture. You just remove the shelf by uh, disconnecting the the power cord to the external camera and then the shelf slides right out. You don't have to disconnect the power to the internal camera. And one thing to notice is there's a light, a soft uh, muted light on the internal camera. That stays on all the time so that you always get a color view even at night. And the way it's designed is to be real low intensity so that you get color but it doesn't uh, disturb the birds. It doesn't produce much heat to speak of. And it's not a bright light, it's a diffuse light. So you take this out and this plastic panel just comes out by coming up to where the slots are. And it just pops out like that. If in some cases you might want to pull the side down and check on the birds. Yeah, sometimes if you uh, put the side down, then the, the birds, the material, and even the birds might fall out. So. It's not uncommon for researchers you know, to actually open up owl nest boxes and some small birds and check on them. 
uh, while they're in there and see what's going on inside uh, even though you have a camera. So this is just another way to be able to open the side without disturbing the birds real quick, take a look and then put it down. Because the number one priority of course is the birds. So if your Wi-Fi goes out and the camera goes out and you still want to check on the birds, you can always do it the old fashioned way with your eyeball. Okay, so it comes with three different uh, predator guard ho entrance holes here. So that makes it real versatile. That's kind of nice. Basically the size of this uh, birdhouse is uh, big enough that it could fit just a, a really a large range of uh, songbirds. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. I'm going to install this two inch piece on here right now because I know that I have a pretty high probability of getting some great crested flycatchers in here this next spring. So it comes with an included little screwdriver and I'm just going to unscrew the predator guard that it comes with. It comes with a one and a half inch attached. Now one and a half inch is a little tight for flycatchers and I've had flycatchers nest here off and on for many years and they much more prefer a two inch hole than a one and a half inch hole. In fact, they'll move right into an owl box with a three inch hole if they have a chance. But a small hole would exclude them. So one of the things you can do about this bird, bird nest box using the different holes, uh, sizes of entrance holes that come with it is to target different species. And again, everything about this uh, birdhouse is actually over-engineered. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I mean, they've really uh, went to a lot of work with uh, threaded uh, inserts and four uh, screws here to hold the uh, predator guard on. Nothing wrong with that. They did not cut corners when it came to the hardware. Okay, taking the one and a half inch predator guard off that came with it and you can see it has a metal uh, backing to it because squirrels will just eat right through wood. They're not going to be uh, impressed by anything wood, but the metal will stop them. So we'll set it up here, get it started. So I've got it started with the uh, two inch entrance hole now, which the fly catchers are going to love. And we'll just tighten it down with the included screwdriver. I really appreciate something that is well thought out and well made. Predator guard in the entrance hole is fundamental to the nest box, so yeah, you should put a lot of thought into that. In other words, what bird species do you want to get in here and what do you want to exclude? In my case, in my Florida backyard, I could never put a nest box up on a tree. Not only would I have to deal with the squirrels and the possums and the raccoons, uh, possibly reaching in and grabbing the eggs or eating the chicks, or in the case of the squirrels, just moving in. Probably an even greater risk is the snakes. I mean, snakes just cannot resist nest boxes in a tree. So in my case, it would be almost impossible for me to have a successful uh, nest box in a tree. It would just be, you know, a bit of luck if, the, if they made it. You know, a great place to put a nest box is up high on the eaves of your house or on a pole with a predator guard on the pole itself too. I'm getting this set up for the flycatchers and of course I, I'll, if I get flycatchers in here we'll be able to see them live later next spring. If you wanted to limit this box to small birds like say uh, chickadees or uh, house wrens, you know, this would be the hole to use and bluebirds and uh, many other songbirds would like the one and a half inch hole. So we got the new predator guard in here. Let's put this thing back together. Snaps right in like that. Put it down like that. Put the camera controller, battery pack and Wi-Fi uh, transmitter here. You turn the power back on, you see that blue light. And I've already charged this for over 12 hours. So I've got the blue light in there. This is the solar panel that comes with it and again it has a real nice long cord so that you can put this birdhouse somewhere and you want to make sure you obviously get the solar panel where it's going to catch some sun. So it has a long enough cord so you know you can get it uh, away from the bird uh, house. You can put the birdhouse in the shade if you have to and get this up in the sun and give you your power. You plug in your solar power right there nice and firmly and then your solar power then you just run it outside of here you put your Wi-Fi antenna down to get the mass signal and I'll make the final adjustment to this camera when we look at the app and see where the bird is to make sure we got the right coverage. So we got our little tufted titmouse in here. We'll just close up the door and now we'll see what we got on our app. The BirdFi Bamboo Nest Box uses the same BirdFi app that the other uh, Bamboo Bird Feeder and the uh, regular uh, Netview Bird Feeder uses. What you do is you just add a device and you pick the device in this case bird find nest there we go 
and start the setup. You want to have the nest box close to your router for the final step here. So you get it within a couple of uh, yards of your router and you hit next. And it's going to ask for your Wi Fi password. And it only works with 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. And that actually gives you a greater range than the 5 gigahertz Wi Fi. And most modern routers that you have in your house now will handle uh, both uh, 2.4 and 5, so it's no big deal. So you enter your Wi-Fi ID, and this is showing up as 5 gigahertz, and that's fine. So when I go to connect, it's going to connect with the 2.4 gigahertz radio. And I'm certain that this is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and the password is correct. And I just say next. Hold the power button down for 5 seconds until the blue light comes on. The blue light is on. If the blue light doesn't flash, you just hit the power button twice real quick to enter Wi-Fi mode. And now it's flashing. And you go next. So you got to remember you're going to get that QR code, a big QR code on your smartphone. And then you're going to put that in front of the BirdFi Nest camera, about four or five inches, and let the camera on the bird nest scan the QR code. And then that'll complete the process. It usually only takes a couple of minutes. So you'll be able to look at your different devices on the BirdFi app. Up here I have the bamboo feeder, which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. And there's a live view of the bamboo feeder right now with a yellow-throated warbler. Go to our bird nest camera. And there's a view of the inside and outside HD cameras in split screen. I did that in real time so you can see it only takes a few seconds using your home Wi-Fi. And you can look at either camera in full screen mode and also record in full screen mode. The other thing you can do is, is the same with the uh, bamboo bird feeder, is you can share it with anybody and you generate a QR code and send that QR code to up to 20 people. And then those people download the BirdFi app and then they just add your nest box and then scan that QR code and they'll be able to uh, see it. The nice thing about a bird nest box, if you get a nesting bird in there, you know, it goes through the uh, courtship and the nest building and the egg laying and then feeding and then the fledging there's a lot going on over a period of time usually a month or two with a nest box so it's really a great way to get friends and family involved and the last thing we'll do now that we've looked at the app is we'll go ahead and tighten down the location of the camera like that and we've got the camera where we want it and we're ready to mount it and here we have the bamboo nest box mounted out in the backyard here it looks real nice i got a simulated uh, tufted titmouse in there got your external camera in here and the internal camera both 1080p and a solar panel and the solar panel is a little bit bigger than the solar panel on the bird feeder which it needs to be because obviously a bird nest uh, box with two cameras and a wi-fi transmitter is going to require more power than a simple feeder so it's a really nice unit it uses the exact same mounting bracket that the feeder uses. Easy to take on and off. And then over here you've got the easy access panel to look inside the box and the acetate covering it to keep it protected because once the birds are in there and they've made a nest in there and have eggs or hatchlings or little ones in there you don't want to if you open this door you don't want to take a chance of disturbing the nest and again birds are usually pretty tolerant of uh, humans but you don't want to disturb them very often and you certainly don't want to take any chance of uh, causing any damage so this panel in here will keep anything from falling out if you have to go in and for example you might have to go in and make a change to something uh, real quickly and so this makes it real easy a lot of the nest boxes, you know, you basically have to unscrew them with a screwdriver or something to make changes and things like that, so it makes it real easy to work on. I'm trying to do a recording down here, and you can see what i got to put up with because these guys want to be fed. One for you, one for you, one for you. And that'll keep them busy while I finish this recording. 
Okay, so this is an organic bird nest box. Just like most organic things, it's going to age and uh, deteriorate with time and sort of develop a, an age look to it. That's just the nature of being natural, sustainable bamboo. Same thing happens whether you use pine or cedar or whatever. It's a real attractive unit and it's easy to clean. You want to clean it after every nesting season. Just like in the case of the bamboo bird feeder, we're in the same location, closer to about 100 feet from the Wi-Fi router through several walls, and the signal here is fine. If I don't uh, keep them happy, they'll climb on my leg. So the summary of my experience with the new Bird 5 bamboo nest box is it's a very well-built nest box, very well thought out. It has two nice cameras to watch the entrance and the inside of the bird nest box 24 7. The app works really good. It uses your home Wi-Fi signal so there's no recurring data costs and it's uh, really easy to use. Uh, there's You can store it for free on 30 days on the cloud so there's no cost to save the data. There's the options available to purchase if you want to expand your data saving options but I personally find the 30-day rolling cloud storage would be fine. There's few things as satisfying in your backyard as having a bird uh, couple select your nest box and raise a family and fledge the fledglings and you'd be able to watch them. I've been doing that for about a dozen years now and it's really a special precious thing. So what you want to do is, uh, it's already what, late November, it's almost Thanksgiving. If you were to get these boxes out uh, before the first of the year, uh, you know, ideally you want them out a couple of months before nesting season. Birds start to nest in earnest. In Florida they nest a little earlier, but up north they start nesting in the spring. So, you know, now is the time to think about getting a bird nest box and uh, getting it set up and getting it ready so the birds can move in the spring.